The new regulations on fully tinted rear car windshield and windows will stay, despite protests from various quarters, including the police. Transport Minister Anthony Lokesiu Fook said today that there will be no U-turn on the move as his ministry has taken into consideration everyone's views before changing the ruling. At a media conference today, the minister said the findings of a workshop organized in 2014 had also been taken into account, in which the police also contributed their views. He added his ministry also amended the ruling based on international regulations. It also falls under the jurisdiction of the Transport Ministry, and any amendment to the ruling was in accordance to the Road Transport Act. Changes that we have made is along with the, with the, with the views and suggestions at that time. It's not that a major change. It's just for the rare, rare seats and uh, rare windows. So we have taken into consideration all the views, including Myros. Of course, Myros is part of our agency. They sit in our post cabinet. They have given their views. Of course, we respect their views. That's why, as far as the front, front window and the driver's window, we do not change anything. On Tuesday, Lok announced that private car owners will be able to enjoy darker window tinting as the road transport department will now allow zero visible light transmission for rear side windows and rear windshield. He said the move was expected to generate income for the government, adding that from 2011 to 2018, some 20,000 cars were allowed darker tinting, but had not generated any income for the government. So that is the reform that we are making to make the process in JBJ more transparent and at the same time raise some revenue for the government. The updated regulations under the motor vehicles prohibition of certain types of glass 1991 came into force yesterday.